never seen so many people at a bookstore. <laughs> um, you guys all know you have to buy a book, right? On your way out? That's the deal. Capitalism, everybody. Um, thank you so much for coming. Thanks for the podium. I feel really official. Um, and thank you for that introduction. Um, I love when she was like, you can't take pictures of when he's signing. Because I turned to dust. Um, don't know if you know, in Hollywood, it's really bad for your skin to have flashes hit you. Um, no, I think it's just because there's now a lot of people. So if I took a picture with everybody, we'd all be here till Tuesday. Um, so um, thank you for the cameras now, though. <laughs> it helps light my light the pages. Um, so I really appreciate it. Uh, it's really amazing that you guys all turned out. I'm really, really excited to be here today and to be talking about this. <laughs> yes, Meredith gets a shout out. Um, I, uh, this is something that I never expected would be taking over my life the way it did, in a good way. Um, I was basically acting in college because it was something to do and I, I, there were a lot of great friends that were actors so I was like, I'll do that so I can hang out with you more. I was basically just trying to be a part of the cool kids. Um, and then a friend of mine asked me to be in a stage reading of this and I thought, wow, I'll actually have a good part, that would be nice. Um, and uh, it turned out to be probably one of the most momentous things that's ever happened to me because uh, once I stopped being a part of, <clears throat> you know, silly comedy bits and things like that, all of a sudden I was a part of something that was emotional and uh, provocative and made such an impact on me. And I literally have been wanting to do something with it ever since. And so I went to New York and became a professional waiter. Uh, yeah. And in doing so, uh, basically tried to adapt this about seven and a half years ago. So this is really, really incredible. But to be back in Boston and opening it here now is, uh, is pretty awesome. I'm going to stop talking because I don't know what to say. And I'm nervous and I'll start shaking. <clears throat> um, so when you see the book start shaking, that's just something I do to calm down. <laughs> I am not nervous. <laughs> Even though I just said I was. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure that's one of the rules of the secret or something. <laughs> Say it and it won't affect you. <laughs> maybe it's not. Maybe I should write my own book about the secret. Um, I'm going to read a couple things. I have no idea. It's very weird to be reading from a book that you had nothing to do with. But because you did the Hollywood version of it, all of a sudden they're like, read from it. <laughs> because it's, it's the exact same thing as writing it. Um, <laughs> So I'm going to read a couple things. I wasn't sure what to read. There's a bunch of funny stuff. It's, uh, uh, it's incredible. Um, I guess the only thing I'll say before I read it is uh, I only wanted two things out of the movie. The two things I wanted were um, to, one, start a conversation. I just wanted to uh, make a movie that when you left, <clears throat> because it's definitely not like any movie I've ever seen, uh, that it would be something that you might not be accustomed to, comfortable with necessarily, and so at the end of it, whether you like it or not, it, it, it actually isn't really <laughs> something I care about all that much. It's more about if you don't like it, then hopefully you find someone who did like it and you guys can talk about what you liked and didn't like. That's really something that I think he does so well, Dave Foster Wallace. And then the second thing was, I just wanted to bring to another medium and introduce to more people what I think is bar none one of the greatest authors there has ever been. So I hope that if you do go see the movie, and you even like it a little bit, you'll really love his books because I'm here to say that my movie will only always be a fraction of what you can get out of his books. It will never, ever, ever be as good. But at the same time, hopefully it, it opens the door to it. Could I get a water? I think I'm getting real nervous. <laughs> oh. In my head, I was analyzing what I was just talking about and I was like, really? <laughs> really? That's your take on this whole movie, man? <laughs> You only want two things out of it? You're not sounding very smart. All right, so I'll read something now that I didn't write. Um, that was amazing. It just shows that you thought it was funny. Um, interview number 19, October of 19.